the generator room. The beryllium sphere, of course. I hope, Tech Sergeant Chen, this meets with your approval. Neat. Very tidy. Tech Sergeant Chen, I'm sorry to ask this of you so shortly after your arrival, but members of the reactor staff have a question they find most pressing. Uh-huh. Sir, we have had unexplained proton surges in our Delta unit. They cannot be verified on the subfrequency spectrum, but they appear on the valence detector when scanning the beryllium sphere. And we're hoping you would be able to advise us. Huh. I see. That, that, that is a puzzler. What do you think? Huh? Oh. That possibly the valence bonds have shifted bilaterally? What does that mean? What does that mean? Yes, I see. Um, yes, it means that the bonding molecules become covalent. So? So the solution is to introduce a bonding substrate, a two molecule compound sharing a free electron and bombard their ion with the reflective isotopes. <sighs> He's got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course, it's so obvious. Sergeant Chen, you're a genius. Dr. Lazarus, I hope I am not breaching protocol, but I am so very humbled to stand in your presence. I have studied your missions extensively. Though I am Thermian, I have lived my life by your philosophy, by the code of the Maktar. Oh, good. Very nice. By Grabthar's hammer, Dr. Lazarus. Don't do that. I'm not kidding. I'm sorry, sir. I was only... Just don't. Yes, sir. No quarter, sir. Open. <laughs> Completely distractionless. Where's the bed? Just as on your home planet, sir. If I may say, it took me three years to master the spikes, but now I sleep with a peace I never thought possible. Is that the bathroom? Yes, sir. The use of your waste facilities were strangely absent from the historical documents, so we had to extrapolate purely on the basis of your anatomy. <laughs> You're quite complicated, sir. thought you were smart for a second. You think you could do better? Laredo? All right, that Laredo shit. Oh, we're screwed. We're so screwed. Come on, come on, come on. We want to finish this mission. We have to use some self-control. Self-control? That's funny coming from a guy who slept with every Tarakian slave girl and moon princess on the show. It never occurred to you, had you been more supportive, you might have been able to hold on to me? I might have been able to hold on to you? Yeah, hold on to me. Are we really going to do this here? How much further? It's about this much. No, it's a scale. Is it 10 miles or 100 miles? It's this much. Ah! It's got me! It's got me! What's got you? It's got me! I told you five minutes! Come on, come on. I told you five whoa, whoa, whoa. minutes! Get off of me! Whoa! 
use your imagination. Your, your foot got caught in a rock. Something grim. Something grim. It's under control now. Look, he's playing his good side. What are you talking about? Let the sucked in gut. Check out the foot on the rock. It's the rugged pose. Oh! Guy, guy. Guy, guy, let go of me. Guy, please. Get off the line, guy! Alexander, you're my advisor, advise me! Well, you're just gonna have to figure out what it wants. What is its motivation? The rock monster doesn't have motivation. You see, that's your problem, Jason. You were never serious about the craft. I just want to be a rock. Still, peaceful, oh! and tranquil. Whoa. What's this noise? No, it's movement. A vibration. Oh! Oh! Make the vibration stop. They cut through me like a knife. I must crush the thing that makes the vibrations. Am I crazy or do you have something there? Give it to me. Come on, both of you. Give it to me, you great big burning hunks of green. Um, computer, we're gonna need some privacy. Can you please close blast section 19? Core implosion estimated in See? 30 seconds. No one ever takes me seriously. Well, now how you feeling, huh? Do you take me seriously now? Hey, come huh? on! Just listen to me. Mathazar told me your Vox could be used as a homing beacon. We need you to find us a flat place to land the ship, all right? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Big surprise. Help me. Ah! 